Hey, Dr. B here. In this slide, we're going to determine the energy of hydrogen photon emission. That simply means how much energy is released when a hydrogen electron goes from an outer shell to an inner shell. It was determined by Bohr that its wavelength could be determined. Let's relate wavelength to energy, plug in, and we should be able to mathematically rearrange it. Planck was the one who found the relationship between energy and frequency. The energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency, so the energy is proportional to its frequency. H is Planck's constant, and since we're dealing with the smallest possible particles of energy, it's an exceedingly small number, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. I'm going to put formulas on the left. I'm going to put constants on the right, so with a rearranging, it should become a little bit easier. Frequency is related to wavelength by the speed of light equation. The speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. And S is a constant. That's the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So we should be able to express energy in terms of wavelength. After all, E equals H times whatever F is. This formula tells us, with a little bit of rearranging, that F equals S over W. So let's just do that, E equals HS over W. Fine, that's good. And now things are starting to unfold because H is just a constant, S is just a constant, and what is W for hydrogen? Well, Bohr figured out what that was. The wavelength is equal to this formula here where you have the inner shell and the outer shell. So we should be able to just say what energy is. It's a number times a number divided by a formula. So if you, I'll save you some of the math. I encourage you to try it on your own. But if you do all that and plug it all in, you can find that the energy of a hydrogen electron as it goes from an outer shell to an inner shell can be calculated directly. It's equal to that many joules, which is a very small number of joules, times 1 over that inner shell that it went to squared, minus 1 over that outer shell that it started from squared. So this is a handy formula. This is the determination of the energy of hydrogen photon emission, and you could e equally apply to absorption. You better be careful as how you express it, though. It would require energy for absorption. It would release energy for emission.